<sighs> what is up, guys? It's your boy, Suplex Network here, coming back at you again for another video. And today, I have got it. The Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena Mattel crowdfunded project. And I'm going to be opening it up and reviewing it. All in the one video, so let's, without further ado, I know this is probably going to be a long ass video because there's a lot to get through, so I'm going to open it up, I'm going to take a look at it out of the packaging, as you can see here, it is, oh there it is, here we go, let's turn, oh god it's heavy, da 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 da, it is upside down, it is too big for the camera to see, but, yeah. Alright, so let's try and open this up. There it is. Oh my god, this is huge. So let's, first off, we've got some steel steps there. We'll open them up and have a look at those in a second. We've got nothing. Some cardboard rubbish. We've got more cardboard rubbish. This huge entrance way, we'll have a look at that in a second, put that aside. We have got some pieces in here. Oh yeah, this uh, looks like parts of the ring. Put them on the side. Take that off and oh my god, look at that. Look at that, there we got the ultimate editions. Oh, they're already, already opened. There's Doink the Clown, already opened Ultimate Edition, we've got Big Diesel there, um, accessories, some ring posts and whatnot, um, nothing else in there, we've got the canvas by the looks of it, and here we've got even more pieces to build the ring, so let's get all this set up and let's build the ring. Alright, so I'm going to build the ring now and if you came to this video to see the review of this or to see the review of the Ultimates, I'll leave timestamps in the description below to that, but I'm going to take my time, I'm going to build this all on camera to show you the exact process on how it, how it all goes, goes together, so... Step number one, uh, we've got to build the, the around the ring. So we got one of these. Okay, let's open up all these bags. <coughs> got to leave the legs there, the four ring posts there. I don't know why I thought that would be metal, but they're not metal. <laughs> Steel steps. Um, what else is in here? Oh, that's backing for the entranceway. So we can sit them aside for now. Got these things. Um, don't know what these are, but there's lots of them. So first up, we want... Um, what's this? Piece of paper. That. And... Oh, God. Stuff's falling over river. Um, yeah, look. So it goes this. Um, and this. Click together. Perhaps. Maybe not. Maybe it goes in here. Alright, so there we go. That clips into that. This will clip into that. Maybe. It doesn't want to. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that now. Okay, we'll clip into that. This will clip into to that. Yep. And this will clip into that. Oh god, why does this one not want to go together? Hold on a minute, players. Let's try and clip this together. Is there one that doesn't go together or am I tripping? Oh, I see what the issue is. There's a screw in here. Hang on, let me screw that together. There we go, we got all four of them together. Dodgy old Mattel hasn't 
screwed the screw together properly. So then these connect to a to be a square like that and like like that okay so this isn't as big as oh i'm just breaking shit now isn't as big as the other a scale ring which i'm glad the other ones don't really fit on the desk properly they're just huge so this is a better scale i'm hoping so we got that there all right now what do we do next step put the wooden wooden boards on is that in the second step I guess so. How do these go on here? Um, this way? And okay, they click in there, like so. This one is the side here. And they click in like so. And then the middle one clicks in like that. Now we're gonna flip it upside down onto. Um, sorry, what, mate? I'm confused. The canvas goes on like so. And what? How's it? Hook the mat planks under the ring. Um, okay, all right, so I need to flip, oh god, my desk is too small for all these ginormous things. This is going to be a long ass video, so if you don't want to watch me putting this together, or struggling to put this together, uh, you can skip forward to the review part, but yeah, I thought, you know Let's show the struggles. Oh, there's too many pieces. Doesn't fit on my desk. Now my guardrails are falling over. This is not a fun time. Not a fun time. All right, let's lay that out flat. Get this entranceway out of the way. Look at the fall. Um, okay, that's. Somewhat flat, I guess. And then we lay this on top, like that. And it goes folded over, like this. Um, I think. Um, it's not cooperating with me very well. Alright, so we got that. Now what do we do? How does that go in to pin in? Apparently there is pins on the side. Okay, I see. I see. This is gonna take me a while. Gonna go around all these little dots, clip onto onto the little hooks underneath it. But yeah, I'm keen to get this set up. I'll probably use this ring over the AEW ring just because of the size. It's probably better suited this size rather than the scale rings before this one. So I'm pumped to get this set up finally and get to use it almost there and by that I mean I'm almost halfway this is gonna take me forever Finally done that. It took me a long time to do. I was getting frustrated at it. Now we've got to put on all these pins. Um, I'm assuming these big ones 
go in the center like so. We'll put, <coughs> I was worried the middle, because the middle wasn't really secure, but like I'm, this will make it more secure, which is good. I was a bit worried about that. A lot of support in the middle there, and then these little ones. Oh, they're very tight, tight fit. Go on these outside ones, around the outside. Duh. God, they're stiff. There we go. And now we turn it up the right way, and there it is. Uh, the canvas is very loose, um, which is a worry, honestly. That's not, not good. All right, now we put the corner posts on. One, two, three, four. Next step. Um, the ring skirts. Ring skirts. All right, which ones should we do? Which ones should we do? Uh, is that all of them? That's all of them there. Um, it's plain old WWF. WrestleMania. These feel nice. For WrestleMania in your house. I think I'm going to stick with the OG, OG ones for now, just because, like, I don't know. So how these go on, they just hook on the posts by the looks. One way to find out. There's one. Do they go over the top or under? They go over. So you go up and down like that. That doesn't feel right. That that looks like it's wrong. Fuck. That's not good. Put these skirts on. feel like they're not on right. They feel like they're too high up. So that is the building part of the ring. Let's now take a look at the ring and the figures itself in a review. All right, so I've turned off my studio art lights just so you can get a better look at the, st the set here. You can see it's lit up. The batteries probably aren't fully charged, so it does look sick, although it's got all these different options, like lighting sequences it can do. But as soon as I turn my lights on, to see, you can't really see what's going on with the entrance. It is huge, it's got this curtain here, which is very nice, it's already attached, it's already cut down the middle. It's a very cool looking stage there. And then we move on to the ring, it's got blue steel steps here, just generic steel steps, they're made of plastic, they're not steel, but here's the ring skirts. As I was saying previously, if you watched the full video, um, they sit higher, then the ring itself, which I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I did that wrong. I guess if I put them on the bottom, yeah, I'm not sure. But they don't sit straight. Is my gripe with that? But these are very sick-looking turnbuckle pads of it made of fabric. There, got the red, white, and blue. They were very easy to get on as well. Awesome that they feel like actual pads. They're made of fabric. There, the canvas is. Um, very slippery, like it's not super tight, like every other ring I've had has been, but it is what it is. Um, it has the wood underneath, like the plastic, plastic looking wood. 
Um, looks awesome. It does. It is smaller than the other scale rings, which we're going to get into that. We're going to show a comparison when I'm looking at these figures. So, first figure I will look at is going to be the diesel, but if you want to just watch the doink, then skip ahead and you'll see the doink review. But let's take a look at, take a look at diesel up first. So, here he is inside the packaging ultimate edition style packaging here you see him on the back there the real picture of him and then the figure there six foot ten so he is a big dude um also out of the box it just is already open so like it's not taped together which i mean it's not bad because it's like i'm not going to be selling this i'm keeping this for the collection so uh we can eat that away open this figure up and take a look up first he's got this entrance jacket here very nice he's got two sets of hands so he's got these fists so he can punch people because he's a big um big meaty boy he's got the second head where he's yelling he's like ah sean michaels you screwed me ah i'm angry um, i don't even think that's focused but um come on camera focus on the focus on the head and there it is there's it focused up on his diesel head scan it looks really realistic i'm surprised with how good this looks especially on the side very looking like kevin nash there now let's take a look at the figure itself taking a look at the diesel figure here you can see he's got the ultimate edition articulation the butterfly joint in the arms there which is very nice not that he really did many many moves that oh Sorry, I dropped him. Many moves that require lots of articulation. He does the jackknife. He does the big boot, which he can he can get sort of high enough to do it. If you bend the knees, you've got the articulation on the toes. Double jointed elbows, which is awesome. Here's his head scan here. Kind of look like he's got psycho eyes. He's got one elbow pad, which is covering up his tattoo there. He's got the hands here that he can hold stuff, hold weapons, hold the IC championship for Shawn Michaels. Um... Got the, like, tassels on the side of his pants. Huge-ass pants. Let's take a look at what he looks like with the other head scan on and the jackets. There it is. I Honestly, I much prefer this head scan on him with the screaming look. I've put the closed fist on him so he can do the diesel pose. We'll push, position him here, holding the rope down. Yelling at the camera, doing his entrance there. He's got the jacket to go with. So, a very nice figure, very nice diesel ultimate. I'm surprised we got this as an ultimate edition figure. But I'm not complaining about it. It's very nice. Now it is time to look at the ultimate edition. Doink the clown figure. Um, very unique figure to have gotten in an ultimate edition form. I guess that's why they've put it on the crowdfunding project. Because it's one we wouldn't really get in the main line. So let's open him up again. Oh, it says who, who, who. I didn't realize that there was writing under there. But he's got lots of different accessories. He's got two different kinds of hands here. He's got the open hand so he can do his signature poses. He's got some open ones there. And then he's got these closed fists. He's got three different head scans, which we'll take a look at on the figure. One where he's got his mouth open. Doing sort of a little cheeky grin. He's doing a little shocked face there. Like, oh, oh my god, I'm an ultimate edition. And then cranky evil doing the clown there on that. So let's take a look at all this stuff out of the packaging. So now taking a look at the doing the clown figure. As you can see here, I've got him positioned with his mallet. Um, very bright and colourful, which matches doing the clown himself. He's got this nice jacket. It's a cloth material, which is awesome to see. It's got plastic detailing on it. Like, these buttons are plastic. This flower is also plastic on the front. The evil one that squirts the water. Very nice. But let's take a look at the jacket off of him. So we take it off his arms here. You can see they've followed Jazzwares in doing the plastic underneath the stuff so the paint doesn't rub on the figure itself, which I'm very happy they're doing that. That's awesome to see Mattel now doing that. A lot of detailing on the inside of that jacket. Very cool there. Then the attire here, you've got the green, mainly green, matching with the blue and the red and the yellow there. Some white accents as well. Got the yellow tie designed. And on the back, got a little pocket designs and stars. The hair on this looks... Oh, okay, okay. okay. The hair is removable, apparently. I did not know that. That's going to make it very difficult to animate with, but... <laughs> Put the hair back on him like so. The hair detailing is nice. It's got like two different tones in it. 
So there is the angry doing the clown. Um, we'll swap the heads. Oh, I'll we'll put a different one on. Which I don't know if it's just me or if other people have the same issues, but I have tr struggled to get the other head scans on the Ultimate Editions. I need to really force force them on. They don't really click on properly, so. Let me know if there's a, a trick to it because I feel like I am struggling hardcore to get these on. But here is the second head scan where he's looking a bit more uh, menacing, I guess, or chirpy. He's got his mouth open. Camera wants to focus, hopefully. But yeah, there's that head scan. And again, the hair does come off, which um, I don't think I like that feature, honestly, because this will make it difficult to animate with. And then easily comes off and his other head scan where he's doing the ooh, oopsie head scan, which I, again, I can't really get on properly. I'll position him with the head scan back on when I'm off camera. And here he is with the different head scan on. I've also put the other hands on where he's like doing some clown, clowning around. So he's nice and poseable. The head scan and the hair and the hands make him very poseable and displayable like there's many different ways you can display him and this jacket is just fantastic the detailing on it is awesome very ultimate worthy the accessories and whatnot this is that's what the ultimates are all about getting more bang for your buck which this really has done such a good job of that and i mean it is a crowdfunded one so um if you didn't buy it, then you're out of luck. You probably won't get this again. But yeah, that is the Ultimate Edition New Gen Crowdfunded Mattel Creations. That's a lot of words. All in one review slash unboxing slash build. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos with this, this setup, let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, this is your boy, Suplex Network, signing off. Peace.